Hey guys, so today I thought that I would sit down and play with some products from the Too Faced Do You line. They look like this. So if you guys would like to hear my thoughts and see the application of these products, then just keep watching. Okay, so today we're gonna be trying the Tutti Frutti Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation in the shade Vanilla, and I did pick these up at TJ Maxx. Um, so I have this one first. We also have the Do You Fresh Glow Setting Spray. And then finally, we have two shades of the Do You Fresh Glow Translucent Setting Powder. So let's jump right in. Okay, so we have the Blendiful, the brush, and the sponge, and I feel like I got the best coverage with the sponge, but as you can tell, this color is not the right shade for me. Okay, so the box says full coverage fresh glow foundation. I agree with the fresh glow part of it because my skin looks nice and healthy, but this is not full coverage. I went ahead and added a second layer all over the face, and it's still not even close to full coverage. You can still see sun damage here. You can see acne here, birthmark here. You can see acne scarring here. I just don't think that it is full coverage and it's definitely the wrong shade for me. This is the shade Vanilla and it's just a little too peach for me. I have more of a neutral undertone and this is definitely too warm for me. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. All finished. But I did have to mention that I love the scent. It smells so good. Hey guys, so I had to hit pause on the Too Faced Do You video to go pick up my son from preschool. So this is the way that the foundation looks with just powder and a little bronzer on top. I didn't have time to try the rest of the product, so we will be doing that shortly. But I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like in natural lighting. I'm standing right by my back door in my living room. And the color that originally looked pretty peach actually looks like it's a pretty good match in natural lighting. So that's good to know because I was worried that I'd have to return it because the shade was so off. This is what it looks like right now. Don't mind the little sunglass indentations. It was pretty bright out today and I wanted to cover the no makeup eyes when I went to go pick up my son. So this is what it looks like in natural lighting without anything else on top other than powder and a little bronzer. Okay, so as you guys saw, I had to hit pause and go pick up my son. So I have the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation in the shade Vanilla On, and once it's on and powdered, it doesn't look that off from my regular skin tones. So that's good to know. I was worried I'd have to return this because it was so peach. And even on my hand where I had that, that foundation pumped out, it doesn't look that off from my normal skin tone. So with powder, it looks like it's a decent match, but if you're any more neutral or cool tone, I would not recommend this particular shade. Um, so that's what it looks like right now. Now let's try the other products that I have from this line. We have the Do You Fresh Glow Setting Spray. And honestly, I love cucumber melon scent and the foundation is infused with juicy watermelon and fresh cucumber. And the setting spray has watermelon and cucumber all over it. So I'm assuming it also is, yes, it says, with this watermelon and cucumber infused pearlescent mist for a delicate shimmer that locks down makeup for dewy, gorgeous wear. So it says to shake and spray um, six to eight inches away from the face and mist directly onto the skin or on top of makeup. I want to see what it looks like inside. Does it have like pigment to it? Okay. It looks like it's got some like rosy champagne pigment to it inside the bottle from what I can tell. I'm going to spray it on my chest first. Oh, that smells so good. I see a little bit of shimmer here. That's pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna spray it on my face. It smells so good. That 
added a nice like healthy glow to the skin. I already had a little bit of glow here from the foundation, but it really just kind of brought everything to life over here. I don't see any shimmer right off the bat. It just looks like a nice healthy glow. So that's really pretty and I'm obsessed with the scent. It's definitely not as intense as the Physician Formula One, the Rose All Day Illuminating Setting Spray. It's not as intense as the Cover FX one. It's more of like a subtle um, shimmer and dew, which I really like, and watermelon gets me, so really like this one. The other products from the Do You line that we have to include in this video, which I have tried already, are the Do You Translucent Radiant Whatever Powders. These are the Fresh Glow Translucent Setting Powders, and I have two shades, but I believe there are actually three. I have Radiant Pearl. I have Radiant Nude, and I believe there's like a deeper one, like Radiant Bronze or Radiant, I don't know what it is, but I know there's three of them. And the, let me just show you what they look like. So they have the beautiful watermelon packaging on top, like this protective seal, and I believe it came with a puff or something, which I tossed a long time ago. You open the lid, and when these were fresh, they did smell like watermelon. So you pop the lid and then they have a mesh inside, but as you can see, a lot of product kind of sits in here. So let me show you the swatches of these two. We have the Radiant Pearl, which is the lightest one. Looks like this. And then as you rub it into the skin, kind of gives you this really nice like pinky pearl finish. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I'll show you on my face. It's like a beautiful pink pearl finish, beautiful. And then the Radiant Nude one, it's quite a bit darker. And on the skin, it gives you this nice, like, beigey nude glow. I would compare this to the Essence Pure Nude Highlight with just a little bit more shimmer to it. So not glitter, but just shimmery. So this is the pearl and this is the nude. So I bought both because I don't like this as a setting powder. I like this as a finishing powder. It adds a beautiful glow to the face. So let me show you what I generally do with this. I will generally take like a fluffy brush like this. This one's from Real Techniques. I will dip it into the powder, tap off the excess, and then I'll just kind of dust it all over the face. I do think it's too pink to use as a setting powder personally, but I'll focus this color on like the center of my face as like the highlighting areas. Can you guys see like the brightening effect it had on the center of my forehead? It's just like a light pink kind of like sheen. And then on the cheeks here as well, it kind of brightens. So I think it looks really nice on the center of the face. And if you do go a little bit heavy handed, it can give you like a whitish pink cast. So that's why I like using like a bigger brush like this where you can kind of buff it out if you did apply a little too much. So that's what the pinky one looks like. That's the Radiant Pearl. I think it's beautiful. And then I'll go in with a separate brush. We go into the Radiant Nude, which is the deeper one. And then I will focus this one on more of like the perimeters of perimeter of my face, like the areas I would apply bronzer. Can you see that golden glow on my forehead? So if you look at my forehead near my hairline, there's just this beautiful nude glow all around the perimeter. You can see right here. And then I applied it on top of my bronzer contour here and here for that glow. And I have no highlight on my face right now. I just have these like beautiful translucent radiant powders and I love them. The smell does fade pretty quickly. So if you're sensitive to smell, I don't think this will bother you on the face. And in the container, the scent is pretty much gone from mine and mine are maybe five months old or so, so the scent doesn't stay a long time in the packaging. So I just wanna let you know. What do I think of the products I've tried from the Do You line from Too Faced? The foundation didn't blow me away. It's, it's not as full coverage as it claimed to be on the box. So I think that the foundation for me is gonna be a pass. I like the watermelon scent, but I'm just not blown away by anything else about the foundation. 
the Do You Setting Spray. I like the mist. I like the end result. I like the dew that it gives. I love the scent. So this is definitely a thumbs up for me. I did hear that some people had issues with the pump clogging, which I mean, I could see that happening since there is like a pigment mixed in um, to give you that kind of glowy look. But if that's the case, I would just transfer the product to a pixie spray bottle or another spray bottle that I have handy. I would still continue to use it because I think it smells really nice and the finish is really nice. So this is a thumbs up for me. And I already knew that I loved these, hence why I have two of them. I think that these do you um, translucent loose powders are beautiful. Like I said, I'm not so sure if I would use them as an all over setting powder because they are very radiant and dewy. Um, but if you have an issue with oil control and you like a really radiant finish, then definitely give this a try. It gives you the glow and it also helps to set the makeup. So it's kind of like a two for one if these shades are exactly what you're looking for. Or you could probably mix the two together and get like that nice pinky golden glow. Maybe I'll try that next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my first experience with the Do You line from Too Faced. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.